student loan payments will resume in some time between August 29. Approximately 43 million student loan borrowers will be affected by this very important change. Resumption of the payments will be most important decision. We have got some details regarding the ambiguous timeline. So well, what does that mean? Well, it means that between the June 30, it will be going to happen anywhere between the date and the last possible date mentioned. This payment has been a pause for our last three years and this is a really important issue, big concern moving forward because many people are unprepared to start relying on their loans due to financial constraint. We have got all the important details regarding student loan debt forgiveness. Today in this video, student loan payments, are they going to resume? What you need to know? Let's cover all the important details. Alright guys, so as for the latest details, sometimes between the August 29th, it's going to be happening. Student loan payments will be going to resume. I'll get all the details, what you need to know right here in this video. So let's deep down to it. Alright, this is a very important topic to discuss student loan payments and their timeline for the resumption. I know this can be concerning subject for many of you right here into the community, especially considering the financial challenges that we all face during this rising high cost of inflation. I'll be providing you all the detailed explanation of the timeline and why August 29th has been identified as the date that's when the payments will be going to resume. But before we deep dive into it, guys, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that like, share this video, it's completely free to do so. And without a further ado, let's get right into all the details. All right, guys, so let me explain the timeline. All right, so let's talk about the ambiguous timeline. Now, it might seem strange to share this anytime between August 29th, but what does it really mean? Let me explain. Let me break down all the details. All right, the administration has set June 30 as the starting date, marking a day of a 60 day time frame within these 60 days. So, in that period, they plan to resume the student loan payment. So, counting 60 days from June 30 brings us to August 29, and that's where the time frame comes from. Now, it means that any time between June 30 to August 29th. So, well, what does that mean? Well, it means that between the June 30 going all the way until August. August 29th. It will be going to happen anywhere between June 30 to August 29th. All right. Now the student loan payments will be back in effect during this period and that really brings us to the August 29th as the most important date. June 30 to August 29th is the date the student loan payments will be back in effect. However, it's important to note that they haven't yet specified the exact date within this range. So we need to watch very, very closely. As of right now, we don't have a precise date for when the payment will be going to resume, I will do my best to provide you all the latest information, but it would be sometime between the mid August but please don't rely solely on this one. The administration has only provided us with a broader timeline and it's essential to be prepared for the possibility of whether it's happening earlier or later than that. Now, in the past, we have seen situations where they have extended the pause onto the payment at the last minute. And this is due to changing circumstances. So while it might seem very uncertain, it's crucial to still stay informed about the latest information, rest assured, as as soon as the exact date is announced, I will keep you immediately up to date. I know how concerning this issue is for all the people. We know that timeline for student loan payment is resuming and it's a very important topic considering the impact that will be going to have on millions and millions of student loan borrowers. Many people have not financially prepared to start relying on their loans again. And this situation is entirely understandable as the student loan debt in the United States is staggering amount over $1.4 trillion. Well, actually, that's more than a credit card debt into the country. That's totally understandable. We are all in together for this one. And once a specific date is announced, I will keep you up to date on all the information. It's actually over the last three and a half years since they have paused these payments way back in the early 2020 with everything that was going on at that time. They paused these payments and we have heard that they are saying this many times before that the last time we are not going to continue pausing these payments anymore. This is the last extension on this and then this is sure enough last minute they came out and they are saying that well we are just kidding you know this is the kind of a situation that is going on right now the situation has changed and we need to push this out for another six months or something like that now i wouldn't be shocked to see that they came out to the last minute and saying that you know we are gonna going to ex 
extended this out yet once again and the entire landscape of the student loan debt has been changed honestly nobody is ready all kinds of things are happening well if you ever ask anybody no one is ever going to be ready to say oh yeah i'm ready but maybe some people come forward and say i'm ready to pay the debts but i think most of the people will definitely say no i'm not ready and this is because obviously nobody wants to pay back their loans now anyway i just wanted to be prepared on this as right now because right now it looks like it will be for sure it will be resuming but once again always they have the option maybe they come forward at some point and they might say let's push it out once again for another 60 or another 90 days or probably 180 days or something like that and we need to see where it exactly brings us so i just wanted to leave this time frame for you because i don't want a lot of fear right into the community the student loan and you know where we currently sit right now and actually there is more than student loan debt out there actually there is a credit card debt going on in the united states as you know it probably seems like a logical assessment that's why because the college and schooling stuff those are very expensive so i guess if you are looking for any sort of a good news good news is there and a lot of people out there are in the same exact boat so there is a plenty of people out there who have the debt the student loan debt there is about 1.4 trillion dollars of student loan debt out there and here is the thing guys if you are feeling kind of a down i just wanted to let you know that there are other people out there who are dealing with the same kind of a situation but unfortunately just because other people are dealing with the same situation that doesn't make it any better if you are one of those people has to be dealing with the situation let it just sink now i don't know about you but i don't want to have some extra bill come in my way now guys once we get any latest details the exact timelines on exact information on this i will keep you posted so guys make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video